my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing Tarot Lessons 101, and we are finally with the Hierophant. Now, before I get into the teachings and what this card represents, I want to remind you guys that it is extremely normal when first learning the tarot cards to not feel as connected or perhaps to not completely fully understand a card. And I would highly encourage you guys to be patient with yourselves through this process. Why am I bringing this up? Because this was one of the cards that was extremely difficult for me to connect with when I was first learning the cards um, a good many, many moons ago. <laughs> and uh, it was so frustrating. And like I said, it, it's important and very crucial for you to um, find ways to connect with the cards um, in aspects of our life to make it a little bit more simplistic, more to be able to grasp the concept of what the card represents. And that's the reason why I created these uh, lessons for you guys to make it much more easier. But again, like I said, be easy with yourself. Don't get frustrated if there is a card that you can't really connect or understand. Practice will get you there. I assure you of that. Anyways, for those of you guys that are returning to my channel, welcome, my lovelies. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, and definitely hit the notification bell so that you can get notified of the newest videos coming up. So here we are along the journey of the fool. We came to know the emperor, and now we are here face to face with the tarot card number five in the major arcana. The Hierophant, the messenger from the heavens, the experienced spiritual guide, and his job is to bring these lessons down to us here in the real world. The Hierophant is known as the Pope, the shaman, or high priest, knowledge in you, and is also you as the holder of the knowledge the Magus of Eternal Zodiac Trump of Taurus. Venus rules this card. Luna Exalted, Tree of Life Path number 16. Offer thyself virgin to the knowledge. Keyword, I am unlocking. Like I mentioned initially on a personal level, me and the Hierophant didn't quite get along in the beginning of my journey, partly because I didn't understand it. And well, conformity and religion, not my cup of tea. But I learned to love it and I'll explain a little bit more later on. For now, it is all the potential in you for passing the knowledge onto the, the Hierophant. The Hierophant is you as a student accessing the knowledge, and as well, it is you as the teacher embarking to share wisdom. This card is connected to spirituality, initiation, and depicts imagery that speaks to the arcane mysterious, religious, spiritual teachings, the connection between spirit and man, a little like the high priestess, the difference between them, unlike the high priestess, the knowledge belongs to a specific heritage that has been passed down to you along certain lines. As an example, we all grow up in a cultural environment, learned by living with others in our childhood conditioning. He represents this formal learning. As an example, the churches, uh, the schools, the teams, companies, etc. The Hierophant domain are in group settings. There is order. There are belief systems, true rules, rituals that are rewarded when you follow the rules. When you see the Hierophant in your reading, it often comes as a form of a teacher, a mentor who will instruct you in his particular belief system. Key words is education, group identity, religion, belief systems, 
traditions, conformity, institutions. He brings order to systems to create harmony and balance. If there is no balance, corruption, chaos is experienced. And this usually represents that rules are not being followed. If we lack boundaries or don't enforce them, we leave ourselves vulnerable or easily for others to manipulate. The Hierophant energy appears when we need to seek our own boundaries in order to bring peace to our relationships with other people or those around us. He brings peace and balance with mercy and wisdom. As higher knowledge guides from within his pillars, this represents wisdom of the tree of life. You can also see the color gray. That is something that stands out in this card. And it is exactly that of perfect balance in unison with opposites. As an example, black and white right at the center is gray. It is the balance. Unlike the high priestess, there is no veil here in this imagery, which indicates open knowledge that is free for all to be able to gain if effort is put into the practice or the learning. Now, if you can see at the bottom, you see cro a cross of keys at the bottom of his feet, representing the keys to St. Peter or the keys of the kingdom. The cross keys link the Hierophant to Hades, the holder of the keys to heaven, higher consciousness, and hell, unconscious or instinctual life. The triple cross representing the three realms the spirit and the Catholic church showing the lower bar, converting the masses. Sorry, you guys. Converting the masses upward to judgment and at the top of the bar, the reward of the virtues or the virtuous one. He comes to you when you are ready to create solid foundations, traditions, provide us with work, with what works and what does not, which guides these foundational decisions. The Hierophant has the ability to see things outside the box, his intuitive knowledge and ever learning connecting higher guidance and wise judgments are fair, leaving space to acts of forgiveness. In whole, the Hierophant represents convention, conventional societies, authority figures, and doing things the right way. It honors traditions, and establishes rules, not traditions, or not all traditions and rules are bad. It can also show up when you have the need to fit in, or you're having the need or craving to seek approval or validation from those around you. Remember, when I mentioned I didn't quite get along with this card in the beginning, I took it very personally when I couldn't connect with my cards when first learning the tarot cards. Um, and that's with all the cards. Um, now, the cards is key as time progressed. Obviously, that's something that I'm telling you guys. The reason why I highly encourage you guys to be patient in this learning. Um, I, was born, I was born with certain gifts that made it extremely easy for me to connect, um, you know, to be able to connect with things, with people, energy, et cetera. And well, with this card, it wasn't that easy to connect. And it was super frustrating for me, not going to lie. Truth be told, I thought it was a stupid card. But then I realized a lot, like Eddie Murphy said um, about the moonwalk in one of his stand-up comedy shows. It's the dumbest dance ever. Of course it is. Because I can't do it. That's why it's stupid. So whenever I would come across the Hierophant, it was just, to me, a stupid card because I didn't fully understand the concept of this energy and of this card. Of course, as time progressed, I, you know, studied it more, practiced it more, 
really got deep into the wanting to learn this card. And I think a lot of it had a lot to do with what it generalized meaning is behind it. I just couldn't grasp that concept. Um, but as time progressed, I learned to see it in a very different way in order for me to be able to connect with it on a more genuine and authentic level. The Hierophant could be understood like the middleman between the gods and the man. I like him a little bit more now. Think of it this way. That the trickster is the messenger between the gods and man. Stealing fire, teaching us forbidden secrets, giving us the apple. The Hierophant is the go-between, just as Coyote stole fire in order to make the unattainable ours. Risks have to be taken. Does the conformity fit in with this trickster? I kind of see it as hard work. You got to work hard to get the knowledge. This dance between the profane and the sacred is the dance that is most proficient for the Hierophant. Those robes and followers were earned through hard work. He has two men listening to him intently, hanging by his every word. You know there are more probably listening in the background, following his teachings. We can't see them, but you can let your imagination go when tuning into the cards. His big hand raised and blessing as it seems to have earned that huge crown on his head. Yeah, trust me when I tell you, I learned to love this card much more as I learned it. Who does the Hierophant remind you of? Person or movie in a character? As an example, think of it this way. The Hierophant could represent a shaman, for example. A shaman is not born, but they are naturally gifted at certain things. And at some point, they will be taught, they will be guided, they will be given knowledge from other shamans, from other um, experienced spiritual people on this path that will give him and feed him that type of information, that knowledge, and that experience. So the Hierophant, every time it shows up, think of it as a mentor. Think of it as someone that's going to show up to guide you the best possible way. But it can also represent you. So like I said, Connecting the cards is something that is crucial when first learning your cards. So what does the Hierophant connect to you with? Or who does it resemble? As an example, for some of you guys that are into Star Wars, think of it as Yoda. The all wisdom, the all knowing, right? Teaching or giving his teachings. For those of you guys that are into magical movies... As an example, the Hierophant, I see it like the Owen Ants from Practical Magic. Now, if you don't know who they are, you need to watch that movie. <laughs> Francis and Jet, the Ants of Jillian and Sally Owens. They have much wisdom, much knowledge that they have gained through their experience that sometimes they try to hide things from them. But deep down, it's like they intuitively already know the path that their nieces are on. So again, try to connect your cards to characters, whether fictional or real, that are going to help you understand or try to connect with the energy a little bit easier. I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson and we'll see each other soon. Till then, have a good one. Bye-bye.